Let's review exact equations and recall that if we can take a differential equation of the form m of x, y, some function of x and y, times dx plus n, another function of x, y, times dy, and set that equal to zero, if that is an exact differential equation, that means there is a solution of the form f of x, y. We can find a function of x and y equal to a constant, so that that would be an implicit solution to this particular differential equation. The form that that solution will have will take on one of two forms. Either it'll look like this, f of x, y, is obtained as the integral of m of x, y, dx, plus some function of y we'll call g of y. Now the reason we can say that is because the equation is exact, we know that for that particular f, the partial of f with respect to y has to be equal to the n of x, y function. Okay. And similarly, we could also say another way to get the function f of x, y is by integrating the n of x, y with respect to dy, and then represent the rest of the solution as some function of a, uh, x called h of x, knowing also that the partial of f with respect to x is equal to m of x, y, because it's an exact equation. <clears throat> So the strategy of how to figure out what this f of x, y is depends on how, which integration do you want to do. And I usually recommend doing the easiest one, the one that looks like you can integrate first, and then use this other partial information to get the remaining term, g of y or h of x. So just to recall, let's go back over again to understand whether uh, an example equation is exact, uh, exact or not. We'll just do this right here. Suppose you had x plus 3x cubed sine y quantity times dx plus quantity x to the fourth cosine of y dy equals zero. And we're asking the question, is this exact? Is this an exact differential equation? Well, the first thing to do is to make sure we have it in the, we have it in, the, in a correct form with terms times dx plus terms times dy. So let's read off exactly what the m and n functions are. In this case, m of xy is the first thing, in, the first expression in parentheses, which is x plus three x cubed sine y, and the n term or the n function of x, y, is the other information parentheses right here, x to the fourth cosine y. <clears throat> so our conditions for checking whether the equation is exact or not is we need to evaluate partials. So I will come up over here, make a little note here, and let's evaluate the two partials here. The partials that you want to compare is the partial of m x y with respect to y. The way to remember that is in the original equation you have the m function next to dx, so take the partial with the other variable, y in this case. <clears throat> and we're asking is that equal to the partial of n of x y times uh, by uh, with respect to x, excuse me. So the we're taking to check to see if the partial derivatives of the m function with respect to its other variable in the equation, y, and the same thing, the partial of n, which is multiplied by dy, we're looking to see if, it, uh, if the partial with respect to x for n is the same as the partial of n with respect to y. <clears throat> so then if you come down here, and let's check that by looking at these terms right here, m and y. If you take the partial of m with respect to y, that means you're going to hold the x terms constant. So the derivative 
x with respect to y would be 0. This would be like a constant times sine y. So the partial of m of xy with respect to y, in this case, would be 0 plus 3x3 times the cosine of y, because that is the derivative of y with respect, the uh, derivative of sine y with respect to y. Because the 3x could, the cube term is held like a constant, so some constant times sine y. Same thing if we computed the partial of the n function with respect to x. What would we get? Well, if you're doing this with respect to x, then the cosine y acts like a constant. So that'll be cosine y times the derivative of x fourth, which we know is to be 4x to the third. Now if we compare these two, we would say, well, they're almost equivalent, but they're not. They're not the same because of these coefficients. So what you conclude now is that for this problem that we were testing, is this an exact differential equation? No.